Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to make a lab bench power supply using a 12 volt SMPS. So here, uh, this is the 12 volt 2 ampere SMPS, and uh, this is the modified version of uh, XL 6009 boost converter, and I have converted into current and uh, as well as the bucket boost uh, mode. So the link of this video will be given the address soon and also you have a multi-time potentiometer which is uh, made uh, in my previous video and uh, this is the voltage and uh, ampere meter so this is the our uh, casing box in which uh, we are putting all the components on it So here uh, first we have to put the voltage and the ampere meter on the top of this to as the output current and uh, as well as the voltage. Now put the power switch for the on off of this power supply. And uh, this is the 6 ampere and uh, 220 volt rating for switching the 220 volt AC for SMPS. And now put the both potentiometers and now after this I have add the rotating knob for this potentiometers and uh, here you can see I have soldering the voltage sensing pin and uh, ground and the positive so this potentiometer control the output voltage and now this is the current controlling potentiometer which can be used for converting the or uh, adjusting the output voltage and uh, as well as the current now the correction of this uh, multimeter or uh, the voltmeter so this yellow wire is the voltage sensing pin which will connect at the output pin of this module so that uh, we can uh, see the output voltage and uh, this is the 5 volt power uh, for the voltage ampere meter which is connected at the LM7805 regulator IC output and uh, this is the common ground for all the circuit now after this I am connecting the ampere meter input wire which is the black which is the input and uh, this is the output to for the probes so here you can see the yellow wire which is the output of this uh, power supply which will connect at the output of the XL 6009 module and uh, this is the ground output after the ampere meter connection which will connect at the negative or black probes now after this we have to connect the 12 volt SMPS output to the module and uh, this is the AC wires connected through the switch so that we can uh, turn on and, and uh, off the power supply as we need and after this all of them is and uh, properly fit uh, with uh, instant glue and you can see when I turn on the power supply with the power switch and uh, voltage showing uh, 2.3 volts so here uh, we can adjust this voltage from uh, minimum 1.2 volts to uh, up to 3.40 uh, volts and uh, here I have a testing 4 volt LED as a load testing and also I have so the current uh, constant current feature so here the output voltage is 1.1 volt now I am increasing above so the LED is uh, glowing and uh, you can see the current consuming is uh, one, uh, 0 0.1318 uh, now at this point you can see the voltage uh, almost 4 volt and the current uh, requires this LED is uh, 0 0.5 ampere now you can see I am controlling the current potential meter so whenever the voltage uh, uh, at constant but uh, when we drop the current or uh, here you can see I am increasing the output current but the output current uh, limit is uh, fixed at uh, 1.0.14 uh, uh, amperes which is 140 milliamperes so this is limited by the module whenever you connect uh, any load at this uh, point so the voltage automatically drops 
as uh, we have set the lower current limit now here can see i have uh, set the output current at uh, 0.18 amperes which is 180 milli amperes and you can see the voltage knob is not working because the current limit is activated and you can see here i am trying to charging a lithium battery which is a 0. Point, uh, or uh, 3.7 volt uh, battery and uh, 500 milliamperes so you can see for the charging current i am uh, selecting the output current is uh, 500 milliamperes and the voltage is 4.2 volts for the 3.7 volt battery so you can see i am uh, connecting the battery with the output probes now you can see the maximum current uh, taking by the battery is 0.47 amperes and you can see i am controlling the output current or uh, the charging current of this battery so you can adjust the output current as well as the voltage so this is the today's video of uh, this uh, lab bench power supply which is very cheap and uh, compact so if you like this video please like and also share your opinion in the comment box so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.